You are watching Shoutcraft, exciting entry-level esports commentary with myself, Total Biscuit. Right, Sun in the uh, bottom left of the Zelnaga Caverns. He is playing Protoss in the red trunks and his opponent, Empire Hobot, in the blue trunks playing Zerg. These are both Diamond League players. I don't know where they are in the actual Diamond League, but we will see. Like I said, there's not a lot of money on the line for this tournament, but it is a good start. That is important. We need more UK-based tournaments. No doubt about that. Okay, let's we'll see what we've got right here. Zelnaga Caverns, it is been far, far, far too short length of time since I last saw you. <sighs> I just despise you. Ah, Empire Ho No. Extractor trick. I was going to say, what are you doing? Oh yeah, extractor trick, of course. Those of you who don't know what that is, basically it involves building an extractor early on, and you can pop out an extra drone above your supply limit, as you see right there. It is arguably effective. Some people use it, some people don't. Some of the pylon, chrono boosting out his probes, and like I say, this is a very standard opening for Protoss. If you're looking to learn the very basics of Protoss, that will be how you open. We're looking to build a gateway on 13 supply, I would think. There we go. Gate 1, 13 supply. Or at least 12 supply would have been 13. He actually cancelled out of that, but never mind. His opponent, are we going to get a fast expansion on here? No, we're not. Not right now, anyway. Spawning pool coming up for Empire Hobot. Now, like I say, this map is quite a long run, so early game harassment from the Zerg might not work out too well. Sun building close to his ramp to attempt to defend against that anyway, just in case it does happen. Single assimilator coming up quickly, looking for a single gateway into a cybernetics core and the warp gates are, you know, it's your bog standard Protoss opener. No big surprises on either side right there. Empire Hobot's drone says hello and starts to have a nibble at those probes. So oh, get away from me, I'm allergic to drones. Gateway is up. Cybernetics core will be following shortly, I would think. Absolutely no sign of an assimilator yet from Empire Hobot. He's actually well, he's a little bit supply blocked as a direct result of the extractor trick. You don't need to blame him about that. Zerglings eat that probe for breakfast and we're looking for a push. Yes, we are. Sun walls. Yep, there you go. At least he's looking for a wall off. He doesn't quite have it. I think there's a little bit of an alcove there. But he can deploy that zealot right in the gateway. This tiny little alcove, this tiny corridor, this choke point, And that will repulse... Empire Hobot's attempt at an initial attack, and there we go into a slightly slower expansion for Empire Hobot. No signs of extractors at the moment. We've got one coming up, and that's going to be early Zergling play for him, and no sign, of course, of the Speedling upgrade. There we go. That's just up. He's going to harass that a little bit. What he wants to do is try and draw Sun out. Can he do that? He could certainly try. Sun only has a single unit to repulse it right now, but he does have a Stalker coming up. Can he kill that before the stalk comes out? The answer is really no. It's very, very unlikely. If he was able to get two more Zerglings in there, then maybe, but no, it's not going to happen. Honestly, it's not going to happen at all. Stalker's going to pop up at the rear, and then he's going to be able to take those out. But look at the amount of damage he's been done right here. Is he be able... No, he can't do it. He can't do it with the Zealot now. Very confident that he can take him out. The Stalker takes his toll, and that's repulsed. Like I said, it's, it's a shame that he didn't get that on slightly earlier. Otherwise, he might have been able to break that gateway, and that would have been very decisive there for him. Warp gate upgrade on the way. A second gateway backed up by another pylon there. Make sure there's nothing, no funny business going on. Is he going to continue with the Zergling aggression? Right now, looking like he's not going to do that at all. He's pumping out a metabolic boost upgrade for his Zerglings. He's going to look for his economy at the moment and tend to that. Make sure that he's got a good lead on his opponent, the Protoss. But the Protoss looking for a counter-attack right here. Sun with two Stalkers and a single Zealot forcing his way out and looking to see what he can take out. Good counter here by Empire Hobot with a single spine crawler. but again, he's going to have to be quick to get that one out. How fast is that building? Not quite quickly enough, actually. Sun is going to be there before that one goes out. He's going to be able to harass it. Queen is what he's got for defense. He's got four Zerglings on the way. No Zerglings currently available. Queen pulled out. Can he take the Queen out of it, though? Yes, he probably can if he's quick enough. Oh, it's bleeding. It is bleeding. The spine crawler is going to be up very soon. There we go. That's going to inflict big damage. There's the surround. He does grab the Queen, though. So that was a good in investment as far as I'm concerned. CERN, that's going to at least limit the growth potential of Empire Hobot for the time being. For a limited amount of time, anyway. There we go. Nexus coming up here for Sun. He's confident that he's able to expand and a gateway popping up right there. And he does have Warp Gate already. So there we go. Straight into the gateway units. Strategy of the four gateway. Yes, indeed. Four gateways coming up. No sign as of yet of anything special. 
He does have a lot of gas, doesn't he? I have to wonder if he's going to invest that in anything. Forge coming up as well. So looking for either some upgrades or some reasonable defense. A scouting force of speedlings moving out here for Empire Hobot. What is he going to find out of it? I have to wonder. Oh, well, he could do some damage with it, actually. He could run that gauntlet. There you go. Looking for the surround right there, but three sentries available. Ho Empire Hobart doesn't really want to go for it after losing several, and he doesn't manage to inflict any casualties with that particular run. He's going to need a lot more in order to get it. 14 Zerglings currently on the way, relying on Zerglings entirely for the time being, which is only going to be effective for so long, let's be honest. Looking for tech. Still relying on that single extractor right now. Nothing but Zerglings. All Zerglings all the time looking to overwhelm his opponent. Comes around the side. Is he able to flank? No, no, he's not going to be able to do that at all. That's not going to work out for him. Sentry's able to defend themselves very well. No casualties there once again for the Protoss. And a, again, a nice wall off there as well. Simply using the Sentry to prevent them from slipping around the side. It's a shame he didn't do that quicker. He might have made his way through. Those Zerglings are proving to be significantly ineffective. Baneling Nest, no, cancels out of that. Either that or he just built it. Nope. He has not built a Baneling Nest. He was thinking about it. Decides, no, nope, we're not going to bother with that. I have to wonder what his strategy is from here on in. Just throwing more Zerglings at that line is not going to be too effective. He's able to at least do a little bit of damage there. But look at that. Great placement there. Absolutely fantastic placement. Able to bring down a lot of ranged firepower from a very safe distance. And he's able to take his toll with the Zerglings. He did lose a couple of sentries right there. So it wasn't amazing, honestly. But still, those Zerglings are being taken apart. Units lost. Empire Hobot lost an awful lot more so far, especially at this early stage of the game that could cripple his economy. Proxy Pylon coming up right here for Sun. Going to build that out of the way. It's a good place to do it as well because of this. This right here blocks line of sight, so you can easily sneak in and do damage to the expansion. Only a single spine crawler up available for that. Another backup hatchery there. Interesting stuff. Empire Hobot pushing his way through those destructible rocks. Well, trying to, anyway. It's going to take a little bit of time for Speedlings to do that. Roach Woman on its way. Lair upgrade as well. Looking finally for that variety pack. But will he be able to do enough to repulse this force? I'm not entirely convinced. Look at what he's got. He's got six Zerglings. That's not enough. No way. Runs in for a counterattack against what? They can get damage to the mineral line there, so it is pretty good. The question is, who's going to play chicken? Who is indeed going to play chicken right now? It looks like Hobot is playing chicken. Sun is not attacking, which could be an error on his part. Waiting too long, I feel, because there's more Zerglings on the way. He needs to get into the base and do some damage with that. He's able to block off the Zerglings, but he's also able to block off his way into the base. What damage can you inflict with this with more Zerglings on the way? Roach is on the way as well, backing him up. There we go. Into the mineral line, trying to deal economic damage. He's able to do so, but he's taking heavy losses nonetheless. He is backed up by those... Ha oh, yes, yes, indeed. He's got the sentries there, so that's good. That's good. That's very, very good. Good economic damage inflicted right there on his opponent. Reaping a terrible toll. Look at that big, big divide now in the forces. Oh, yes, it's good stuff. Empire Hobot's expansion has been good. He gives it up. GG indeed. Empire Hobot gives it up. Steps of War is the next map, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. One up for T-Sun. Or Sun, or whatever the hell you want to call him. I'll call him Sun for the time being. That sounds like a reasonable bet.